This is PromptSmart, a teleprompter app for both iPhone and iPad. This comes in two versions, Light and Pro. Both use a speech to text engine to determine where you are in the script and move the text accordingly. Both the free version and the paid version come with some really great features, which I'll be showing you here. The review starts right now. Welcome back to Dave Tech, your source for audiovisual and video production. I've been making videos for most of my life and I still struggle with the ones I shoot like this one. I decided I should use a teleprompter for these videos for several reasons. But first, I'm going to show you what I think is the best teleprompter app available. Now, I have used apps that can connect to my phone as a controller, which is nice, but then I have to hold my phone in a way that's less visible, often it's behind my back, and it always looks strange. I have been a teleprompter operator in the past, but I don't have anybody here to operate mine. PromptSmart is an app with a built-in operator. As you speak, it moves the text, as you saw in the intro. You may have noticed in my videos that I occasionally touch my phone or it is just in frame. This was to ensure that I was close enough to the phone's microphone. Now, I actually haven't had that problem with this iPad and I'm a good distance away from it. It is extremely easy to use. I'm going to show you the software on the iPhone for split screen purposes, but it works the same on the iPad. From this screen, you can see the scripts if you have any saved, plus the Gettysburg address, which you can delete if you want. On the bottom of the screen are the, the note cards, recordings, and more. If you select the script settings, you can see what options you have. If you're using the light version, well, what features you would have if you upgrade. A lot of these features are more for presentations, which is nice, but I don't make presentations in front of a group in person, so I don't really use them. And because of this, I can't say much out of experience. So back to the script. On the top left, you'll see a plus symbol to add another script. If you're using the light version, it only allows you to have one script, so you need to replace the text each time. In the right is a check mark, which allows you to select multiple scripts for deletion. The AZ is to sort the scripts if you have multiple. And of course, the magnifying glass is the search function. It's a pretty simple app, but I pretty much always use it for anything I shoot at home. I just bought the iPad I'm using right now, so I can use this app with it. I upgraded to the pro version so I can have the mirrored text, but because it help, helps me a lot, I wanted to support the developer. The reason I started using a teleprompter is I would hit record and try to remember what I wanted to say. I've heard people say that an outline is better, but that wasn't the case for me. I would put it on a whiteboard under my camera, and then I wouldn't say the points in order, and I'd lose track of, did I say that in this take or the previous take, and a, and a script eliminated all this but I didn't want the extra stress of having to manually advance the words. And if I do speak off script, this app is pretty good at keeping my spot until I go back to the script. It isn't perfect. Occasionally it'll ruin a take by shooting way up past where I was and I have to start all over, but it's kind of rare. Uh, also, in the, more of in the past, sometimes I'll have to swipe up on my phone to get the text moving again. I found it takes longer to scan a long script before it's ready. Because of this, I recommend if you add a new script, you press the play button before you're ready to record. This way it'll allow the app to read the text. So if you wondered, I originally was using this app on my phone, mirroring to an Apple TV, which was then connected to a small TV on a mic stand adapter, which I put over my camera and it was kind of obvious that it, I wasn't looking at the lens. Uh, hopefully I am now. Uh, it worked okay and it let me have the phone closer to me. Uh, when I had to advance it, man uh, advance it manually, uh, which I haven't had to do since I upgraded the iPad. I'm also trying this app with a homemade teleprompter for now. I might upgrade to an actual teleprompter in the future, but I spent a whole bunch of money on this iPad. Hopefully you think this investment is worth it so I don't have to look off camera to read my script. I'll link below the teleprompters I'm considering purchasing uh, from Amazon. And I'm going to also link this app. Uh, the Amazon links are affiliated. The app is not. I'm not going to make any money off of it. I just think it's a really great app. Please share this video with at least one other person who's looking to have a teleprompter app. And it, it just scrolled up, so I forgot what I was saying. And thank you for watching this video. Please, obviously, subscribe, share, like. And remember, you can't spell Dave without AV. Yeah, it skips that paragraph a lot. I don't know why. Still, it's it's a much better option.
It's way better. Um, yeah. You should see all the hundreds of takes that were worse. 